Hey, good morning everybody. Thanks for watching our channel today. Um, on our farm, we run two B&Bs, one on the farm and one away from the farm. And a big part of that is um, cleaning the laundry, the towels and the sheets. Um, so we had a problem with our Elite Kenmore washing machine. We're getting the OE code, which says the drain pump's not working. And we tested it by going into the test or diagnostic mode and as a result uh, we think we got to replace it so right now i'm going to pull this guy out and then we're going to see if that pump's bad and if it is we're going to go get a new pump trusty light. Here is my trusty headlamp. We don't go anywhere without this thing on the farm. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy one of these things. Without a doubt, this thing's lovely. <clears throat> and so we look in there and we find that there's no, um, certainly no kinks in our line. this a little bit in reverse. So what we want to do now, yeah, here we go. Oh, that doesn't sound pretty, does it? <laughs> See it right in here. There is a there is a, a spring that holds this lip to the front. So we're gonna we're gonna pull that puppy off there in a second. down here um, this one screw here is going to pull out the cover okay so we take this cover off yay all right there's that cover so we have a drain tube here and then we've got the basket here and it's oh, a little booker's coming out of there maybe not so easily um, not, we just set it up in there, it's fine. Let's try to figure out how to get this basket out. Which, you know what guys, I'm going to try not to take that basket out for a second. Just take the face of this guy off. Pull this guy off and see what it does.
So guys, um, this this is the part right here, and this is. Tell you what, thing looks pretty stinking close. And this is the part that came out. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't. We got some scale on this one, and this one right here, um, is clean as a whistle. Obviously, it's brand new. Also, we got a problem here. That's what probably caused. It's working, but this is off just a hair. So what we're going to do is remove this little white piece here, put it onto this piece, and then we're going to install uh, the part. <laughs> All right, guys, since we've got our the machine now works, we ran a cycle through it, it works really well. Um, I guess it works normal, um, but we're going to make sure that anything that may have come loose gets out of there. So, we're going to run a cycle of this through. Can you see that? Okay. So we're going to run a cycle of that through. It's a little tablet. We put it inside and then let it run for a sanitized cycle. And after that, then we're going to be finished up and we can start washing clothes again. All right. So <clears throat> to recap, uh, this took forever, a whole lot longer than I thought it should have taken. Um, probably should have removed some of the hoses in order to make it work, but we didn't. We, I, I didn't. Um, short story long, uh, basically, this probably took three hours to do, and that was taking it apart, figuring out how to take it apart, then taking it apart, um, getting the part, installing it, um, putting everything back together, and then running a test cycle through. So you're probably looking at about two hours, maybe three hours tops. Hopefully this, uh, this video will help you guys out. Thanks for taking time to watch our video, and be sure to hit that subscribe and the like button. If you guys think of some videos that we uh, you'd like to see, something repaired, something replaced, uh, something on the farm, just let us know. We'll be glad to, to do a video on it. We're always looking for good content and we could use your help. Thanks a lot for watching.